Imagine walking through a dense forest in the middle of winter, the wind slicing through the trees and snow piling high against the trunks. You notice a tiny cabin leaning against a massive boulder. Its walls simple, almost crude, and its roof modest. Your first instinct might be to laugh. Neighbors who passed by said the same thing. What a lazy construction. Looks unfinished. Who would live here? But little did they know this cabin was about to teach one of the most important lessons about survival, ingenuity, and working with nature that you'll ever hear. John, the homesteader who built it, wasn't attempting to impress anyone with fancy architecture, expensive insulation, or complicated designs. Instead, he relied on observation, patience, and the simple genius of nature itself. That massive boulder behind the cabin wasn't just a random rocket, was a natural heat battery. A living, breathing thermal system that would store warmth during the day and release it during the freezing nights. Most people think you need complicated technology, elaborate stoves, or endless firewood to survive in harsh conditions. But John proved them wrong. While the wind howled and snow piled against neighboring cabins, his little lazy structure stayed cozy and warm, often with only a modest fire or, on some days, none at all. How was this possible? The secret lies in the principle of thermal mass, a concept that engineers and architects use to build energy-efficient homes even today. Materials like stone, concrete, or earth can absorb heat when exposed to sunlight and then release that heat slowly over time. John didn't read about it in a textbook. He discovered it the old-fashioned way, by experimenting and observing. He noticed that the boulder behind his cabin absorbed sunlight during the day and radiated gentle warmth at night, creating a microclimate inside his tiny home that no ordinary cabin could match. Neighbors continued to mock the cabin, thinking it was a half-finished project, but by the time winter hit, their laughter turned into astonishment, while they chopped endless logs for their fires, only to feel the cold creep into their homes. John barely needed to light a fire at all. The irony was delicious. The very thing everyone called lazy became the ultimate survival tool. It's a story that reminds us that sometimes the simplest solutions are the smartest. Nature has already solved countless problems if we take the time to observe it. John's decision to work with the environment, rather than against it, turned a small, unassuming cabin into a warm, safe haven in the freezing wilderness. In this video, we'll dive deep into how John's lazy cabin defied expectations, stayed warm for days, and taught a powerful lesson about ingenuity, simplicity, and survival. By the end, ULLC why ridiculing unconventional ideas can often be a huge mistake and why working with nature can beat brute force and complexity any day. But before we go further, make sure to subscribe and click the bell icon because you want to want to miss the next story that proves nature is smarter than we give it credit for. John's cabin might have looked simple, almost crude, but every detail of its design was carefully thought out to take advantage of the natural environment. The giant boulder behind the cabin wasn't chosen randomly. It was strategically used to maximize heat retention. During the day, sunlight would strike the boulder's massive surface, slowly warming it. As night fell and temperatures plummeted, the boulder released the stored heat gradually, keeping the cabin warm long after the sun had disappeared. Neighbors struggled, stacking massive fires and burning endless logs, but their homes remained cold. John, on the other hand, barely needed a small stove or fire to maintain comfort. The concept he unknowingly used thermal mass is now used in modern passive solar homes, where walls or floors absorb heat during the day and release it slowly at night. What makes John's cabin remarkable isn't just the boulder. It's how he combined it with natural materials for insulation. He used reclaimed wood, moss, and other materials to line the cabin's walls, trapping the warmth generated by the boulder inside. He also built a small overhang above the boulder to prevent snow and rain from cooling its surface, ensuring that it remained an effective heat reservoir even in the harshest weather. The results were stunning. While neighbors shivered, John's cabin stayed comfortably warm, sometimes even cozier than larger, more expensive cabins nearby. The lesson here is simple but profound. Nature often has the solutions, and we just need to notice them. Many people dismiss unconventional ideas because they don't look polished or complete. But John's lazy approach was anything but careless. It was smart, efficient, and highly effective. It required less labor, less fuel, and less time, yet produced better results than the traditional methods. His neighbors didn't understand at first. They laughed at the small cabin leaning against a rock, convinced that John had given up on proper construction. But as the winter days went on, and their own fires barely kept them warm, the ridicule turned into curiosity and then admiration. They watched as John's small, simple home maintained warmth for days, a testament to his clever use of the environment. In a world where people often rely on complicated solutions, John demonstrated that simplicity, observation, and a willingness to work with nature can achieve remarkable results. His cabin shows that survival ISNT just about brute force or labor it's about understanding your surroundings and using them to your advantage. It is a story that resonates not only with homesteaders or survivalists but with anyone looking to find smarter, more efficient ways to solve problems. 
John S. Ingenuity reminds us that sometimes the most effective solutions are those we overlook because they seem too simple or too unusual. And while the cabin looked lazy on the outside, it was a masterpiece of energy efficiency, passive heating, and clever design that will inspire anyone who dreams of building a cozy, sustainable home in harmony with nature. John's story is a lesson in observation, patience, and ingenuity. That massive boulder, once mocked as an obstacle or a lazy design choice, became the cornerstone of a cabin that could stay warm for days without constant firewood or complicated systems. It was a natural heater, a thermal battery, and a demonstration of how working with the environment can outperform working against it. The cabin wasn't large and it didn't have any fancy technology, yet it provided comfort and safety that neighbors struggled to achieve with much bigger homes. This story reminds us that sometimes simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. John didn't need to overcomplicate things or follow conventional wisdom. He trusted nature, observed carefully, and let the environment do part of the work. The cabin's performance during the winter months turned skepticism into admiration, ridicule into respect. Neighbors could no longer deny that this lazy cabin was smarter than anything they had built. Beyond the immediate survival advantage, John S. Cabin teaches us a broader lesson. Ingenuity often comes from seeing the potential in ordinary things, the boulder that everyone ignored or mocked had been there for thousands of years, silently providing an opportunity for anyone clever enough to notice. John recognized it, utilized it, and transformed it into a key part of his home. For aspiring homesteaders, survival enthusiasts, or anyone interested in efficient living, the lesson is clear. Sometimes the best solutions aren't expensive or flashy, they're simple, overlooked, and in harmony with nature. Stories like John's encourage us to question assumptions, to look beyond appearances, and to find innovative ways to leverage what's already around us. If this story inspired you, imagine what other survival secrets and clever home designs are waiting to be discovered in the natural world. That's why this channel exists, to share these ideas, to inspire creativity, and to show that survival, comfort, and sustainability often require nothing more than observation, patience, and a willingness to learn from nature. So if you're re-amazed by how a lazy cabin stayed warm for days without constant effort, hit that like button, subscribe, and comment below. Would you build your cabin against a boulder? By subscribing, you'll never miss incredible stories of ingenuity, clever homesteading and nature-inspired survival hacks. Trust me, the next story we bring you will show a cabin staying warm without a single fire, proving once again that the smartest solutions are often the simplest ones hiding in plain sight.